good morning. As you kick off this agenda item, I want to just say a few words. Um, and on the one hand, what you're doing this morning is really routine. You as the Planning Commission look at site plans all the time uh, and guide development that happens all across the city. On the other hand, what you're doing today is relatively unique given the size and scale and the prominence for not only the city but for the region and the state of this proposed development. So given that, I wanted to just provide a little bit of uh, context before we got going with the public hearing this morning. As many of you likely know, uh, many of us in the city, including the mayor, uh, believe that this privately funded soccer stadium is a catalytic, catalytic event that could help with the redevelopment of that entire super block and have great benefits for the, the midway and uh, the rest of the city. Um, the, that mid block, that the super block is an important part of the city and certainly important part of the University Avenue corridor and the midway district. It's so important, in fact, that you all and uh, many of your colleagues have spent about a decade planning for that area. So in 2006, uh, the Planning Commission initiated the Central Corridor Development Strategy, the, the plan that looked at the seven miles of the Green Line uh, that was going to be uh, um, the area around the Green Line that was then about to be built. Uh, in 2008, you approved the Snelling Station Area Plan, so looking at the area just around this particular station, providing particular guidance about what, what the hopes and dreams of the community were for that site. And then in 2011, the city rezoned much of the land along the Green Line, including this super block site, into the T4 zoning designation. Uh, and then in 2014, the city partnered with the landowner for most of the site, RK Midway and the Metropolitan Council, the remaining portion, and did what we called the Smart Site Study that looked at what potential redevelopment under the T4 zoning might look like. So over this last decade, that's a lot of uh, community input, a lot of deliberation, I know, at the Planning Commission about what the communities and the city's hopes and dreams would be for that site. Taking advantage of the LRT, which was um, being built or then um, uh, completed, as well as the BRT, which will begin running this Saturday. And really the, the, the hopes and dreams uh, for the city and the community are really laid out pretty well in those documents talk about a transit walkable, vibrant uh, neighborhood. And so um, that um, brings a lot of background, a lot of, a lot of vision to that site. And today we have a specific proposal to redevelop that site. We have a specific master plan and a site plan for the first phase of that work. And the good news is that we have a decade worth of uh, planning and um, an investment of time and energy from the neighborhood and yourselves at the Planning Commission to look back on as we consider that specific proposal. The proposal before you today, the two proposals are from uh, jointly from RK Midway, which owns the uh, a big chunk of the land there in, in Minnesota United, the, the MLS soccer team that is proposing to build this stadium. Our role, of course, at the city, and that starts with you formally at the Planning Commission, is to look at that master plan and to look at that site plan and weigh it against all of the community planning we've done in that area, look about where it meets our vision, our goals for the area, where it could be improved or where we have questions about how it fits um, the, the really the intentions we've laid out as a city. Um, so specifically, there's these two things before you today. There's the master plan, which is really the larger vision for the 35 acres. That's the long-term vision. We do master plans in the city regularly, but they're not something that comes before the Planning Commission every day because they're these larger long-term visions, in this case for the full 35 acres, that will take years to come to fruition. You also have before you the first phase of that master plan. Each, each phase of that master plan will require a site plan, so you'll get to look at this master plan that you weigh in on now, you'll get to look at many times over the years, we hope, as specific projects come forward. The first one is coming forward at the same time, which is, th which is the MLS stadium that's being proposed. So you look also not, not only at that long-term vision, the master plan, but also the specific site plan for what is the first phase, what the team is proposing to build uh, if the master plan and site plan are approved through the Planning Commission and the City Council. Both of those come to you after um, a lot of uh, community input in process that started really last October when the Planning Commission initiated a task force, the Snelling Midway Community Advisory Council, uh, the members of which the 21 community members were appointed then by the mayor and city council. They began meeting in um, November and December of last year. 
there have been four public open houses. The community advisory committee, I believe, has met nine times, and there's been another half dozen um, uh, other uh, community events where we were invited, city staff or members of the CAC were invited to present to other uh, interest groups in and around that stadium site to get input on um, matching the, the hopes and dreams that have been part of that previous planning with this specific proposal and providing that guidance to the developer. So what we're seeing today in the master plan, the site plan, comes out of that process that started November 30th with our first public meeting and ended on Tuesday with the last public open house um, and then uh, brings forward to you the, the proposed documents to review. Um, also, um, for your consideration, and Donna mentioned this next meeting, you'll have a deeper look into the environmental review. Any, any proposed redevelopment of this size is a state mandated environmental review. There's various forms it can take. The form this one took is the Alternative Urban Area Wide Review, or AUAR. It was released, the draft AUAR and draft mitigation plan was released on Monday of this week and has a 30 day comment period and will be finalized later this summer. The, important thing about the AUAR is that it covers a whole host of things. It covers uh, wildlife, it covers sound, it covers noise, it covers traffic, it covers parking. It has this broad scope, but there's some particular parts of that AUAR, AUAR uh, which will direct, uh, directly affect the master plan and site plan. So uh, part of the traffic and um, parking uh, mitigation plan or management plan calls, for example, the use of shuttles the use of on-site parking. So those are the kinds of things you'll be looking at in the master plan and site plan. And so it's important that that piece is out there. You're getting an in-depth review of it next uh, meeting so you can think about how that impacts the site plan and the master plan. Um, so with all of that background, the November to June of the community process, developing the master plan, the site plan, the environmental review coming forward. Now it is turned over to you at the Planning Commission, put in your good hands to review, as I said, take a look at that master plan to see how it matches up against the community's hopes and dreams, the, the decade of planning we've done there, um, the site plan as well, and then to, to um, acknowledge where it does and to push where you think uh, it doesn't or it could use some improvement or you have additional questions. Um, so we wish you good luck on that part of it, and we're anxious to see uh, your recommendations. I know it goes through several stages here at the Planning Commission, including the Comp Plan Committee, and then we'll go on to the City Council for formal, again, another public hearing and formal vote uh, later this summer. So thanks for your good work. Uh, thanks for your good work on this particularly um, unique project, important project for the city.